Now let's see this example. Construct PDA for the line phase L is equal to W such that N of A N A of W is equal to N B of W. Here W means the string, N A stands for number of A's. So number of A's in the string is equal to the number of B's in the string. Okay. Let us see the language here, epsilon. So epsilon means zero number of A's and zero number of B's, A, B. So one A and one B, A, A, double B. So two A's and two B's, A, B, A, B. Two A's and two B's. So we can have A's and B's at any location. Next, A double B A, so 2 A's and 2 B's, B B A A, 2 A's and 2 B's. Likewise, we can have 3 A's, 3 B's, 4 A's, 4 B's, 5 A's, 5 B's. Likewise, we can have n number of strings. Uh, here, totally, we have to follow three steps. The first step is, the first step is, if the stack is empty, if the stack is empty, as well as if the input symbol is either A or B, then push it onto the stack. So what is the first step? If the stack is empty, as well as if the input symbol is either A or B, then push it onto the stack. And the second step is, if top of the stack is A, if top of the stack is A, and if the input is A, then top of the stack as well as input is A. So both the symbols are same. So then push it onto the stack. Then push it onto the stack. Okay. Whereas if top of the stack is A as well as input is B. So top of the stack as well as input both are different. Then perform the pop operation. Then perform the pop operation. Likewise, let us write the third step. If top of the stack is B. If input is B. If input is B. Then top of the stack as well as input is same. So then we need to perform push operation. If top of the stack is B, as well as if the input is A, then both are different. Then we need to perform the pop operation. So what is the first step? If the stack is empty, then if you perform, if the input symbol is either A or B, then we need to perform the push operation. And the second step is, if top of the stack is A, as well as input is A, then perform the push operation. If top of the stack is A as well as input is B, then perform the pop operation. Why? Because they are different symbols. Third step, if top of the stack is B as well as input is B, then perform the push operation. Why? Because these two are same symbols. Next, if top of the stack is B as well as input is A, then they are different symbols. So we need to perform the pop operation. So now let us write the transition functions. So based on the transition functions, uh, we can construct the DFA. Okay, uh, let us see the first function, delta of Q0 comma, so initially we are at the state Q0, Q0 comma, uh, let, uh, let uh, we have read it, input symbol is A and the stack is empty, and the stack is empty, here the stack is empty, and the input symbol is A, then what we have to do, we have to perform the push operation, if the stack is empty, then perform the push operation. So Q0 comma A Z0. So perform the push operation. So simply push that A onto the stack. So same next one. If if input symbol is B as well as stack is empty, then what we have to do? We have to perform the push operation. So if the input symbol is B as well as stack is empty, then perform the push operation. So next step. Next step, let the state is let we are at Q0 only. Uh, if the input symbol is A. And top of the stack is A. Or if input symbol is B, top of the stack is B. So let input symbol is A. I'm sorry, let input symbol is A, top of the stack is A. So simply we need to push it, push A onto the top of the stack. So Q0 comma A A. So likewise, if input is B and top of the stack is B, let input is B, top of the stack is B. So simply we need to perform the push operation. So Q0 comma B. And the last two, two transitions are delta of Q0 comma A comma B. So that means input is A but top of the stack is B. Input is A but top of the stack is B. Then we have to perform the pop operation. 
So Q0, comma, epsilon. So epsilon specifies that we are performing the pop operation. And what is the last transition? Delta of Q0, comma, input is B, top of the stack is A. Let input is B, top of the stack is A. So we need to perform the pop operation. Okay. And the last one is delta of Q0, comma, let the input string is completely processed. So the last one is what? Every string ends with epsilon. So Q0, comma, epsilon, comma, Z. So that means if the stack is empty, then we have two changes to the final state. Let the final state is Q1. Here the stack is empty. So perform the pop operation. So Q1, comma, epsilon. Okay. So the, this is the, these are the transition functions. Based on the transition functions, let us draw the transition diagram. So we have Q0 state. So on Q0 state, we need to perform 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 transitions. So first one, A comma, if the input is A, and top of the stack is Z0, then replace Z0 with AZ0. Next one, if the input is B, top of the stack is Z0, then perform the push operation. So BZ0. So next, next one, input is A, top of the stack is A. Then perform the push operation. Yeah, yeah. Next, next one, BB. If the input is B, top of the stack is B, perform the push operation. Next one, input is A, top of the stack is B. Then perform the pop operation. So next one, input is B, top of the stack is A, perform the pop operation. So pop means we have to use epsilon. Next one, if in input is epsilon and, uh, and top of the stack is Z0. So then what we have to do? Then we have to replace with Z0 with Epsilon. That means we need to perform the power operation. So this is nothing but Q1. So Q1 is nothing but final state. So in this way we can uh, construct the uh, transition diagram for this table. Uh, let us have, now let us have, write the PDA. So PDA is equal to, PDA M is equal to Q. So Q means the set of states. So what are the states here? Q0, comma Q1. Next one is Sigma. Sigma means input alphabet. Input alphabet mainly contains two symbols. They are A and B. Next one is tau. So tau means stack alphabet. So stack alphabet contains uh, three symbols. So what are those three symbols? What are those three symbols? Z0, comma, A, comma, B. Next one is delta. So delta is already written. Next one is Q0. Q0 is nothing but starting state. Next one is Z0. Z0 is nothing but start, starting symbol of the stack. Next final state is nothing but Q1. So this is the uh, push down automata for this problem.